No. Not starting like Not that. Not a fucking chance. I'm happy we picked up Gianni. How's Gianni? He was driving very well. The shock absorbers. You can, so are they to do with the brakes? It's Mind basically, it? it's essentially like suspension. Yes. So it absorbs the shock of the road. Bang. Jackpot. Because what I was <laughs> noticing was when his shock absorbers were broken, it was like quite quite a lot to break and like quite jolty, whereas now I just glide along and then <laughs> slam on the road. Did it feel good driving him this morning? It felt very good. I was saying off air that I'm like, Actually insane. You are. Like when I picked Gianni up, I was going, oh, he's driving so well. And like patting his steering wheel. <laughs> you are. You actually are like one of those weirdos that like um falls in love with inanimate objects. Do you reckon I'm going to fall in love with Gianni? For Gunner. Oh, I already am. Dude, when we pulled up, Gianni was sitting there. To be fair, he looked pretty slick. He was like, he it was like so the light. Cute. It was like a spotlight was shining on him in the middle of the fucking garage. <laughs> and fucking. And you just started going. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him. Got your phone out, started filming Gianni being, look, oh my God. And I'm like, okay. Imagine me with a child. I reckon it'd be like the opposite. You wouldn't care. What? <laughs> it'd just be like, yeah, no, it's just another human. No. But like you got Kevin over there. Hello, Kevin. You're like trying to feed Kevin as your baby sits there emaciated. Oh, I'll give my baby Kevin. I'll hand him down. Will you? Yeah. It's a big move, buddy. Yeah. What, what what would you actually feel if like a dog ripped up Kevin? Would you cry? I think I'd have to take annual leave. <laughs> annual leave would you have to call him. HR at work? Yeah, who's HR here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have HR here, which it, is a huge issue. I, I, I start a WhatsApp FaceTime with you, Eddie and Burmo. Guys, um, we're going to have to not do... Podcast this, this week. This week, yeah, this week. Just it's um, it's been a tough one. Kevin's head has been ripped off by a corgi. <laughs> <laughs> would you feel betrayed if a corgi did it? Would you feel fucking oh? Would you feel betrayed by the corgi, the corgi uh, breed? Yeah, I'd feel really annoyed. Like attacked. Yeah, like I, I'm, at, I'm one with the corgis. I told you how when I see a corgi, it's like I know everything on my life is going well, or like everything's on track. Really, it's like my thing. Saw a little one the other day, and I was like, "No, Toby." So weird, isn't it? No, I think that's a nice, sweet thing. Yeah, it's weird though. It's not. It's not not weird. No, that, lots of people do that. I know a friend who, when she sees like butterflies or something, she's like, "Cool, everything in my life is like where it's meant to be." Do you know what I think when I see a butterfly? And this is the dead set truth. That thing will be dead in twenty four hours. Oh yeah, they live their whole lives as a caterpillar, just to have one day as a graceful butterfly. And I'm like, I don't know whether I'm a fucking cynical cunt, but I just see him, I'm like, ah, oh, that cunt will be dead. If I hit one in the car, I'm like, whatever, he was fucking dead soon anyway. Shut up, cunt. It's Gianni, he's gone off rogue. Yeah, he's gone rogue, <laughs> like a transformer. Um, yeah, I loved that book, The Littlest Calip- the, the Biggest Caterpillar, The Hungriest Caterpillar. Remember that book? Resonate with you, did it? Mum, <laughs> can I read The Hungriest Caterpillar? Great. No, just, it gives you ideas, Louisa. There's literally nibble and bites out of The Hungriest Caterpillar actual book. No, the book has bites out of it. It's like the whole thing. Fung. The caterpillar bites it. Oh, like, eats everything. I think I remember that. The Hungriest Caterpillar. And then he turns into a a beautiful butterfly and then obviously... Wasn't there one with like a sock puppet in there and you could play with, you could play yeah, the caterpillar? Yeah, what was there? You know, remember that? I can't believe you don't know The Littlest Turtle. Does anyone else know the littlest turtle? Because they can't answer you. Well, when they will DM <laughs> us, because I vividly remember, like Franco. Oh, maybe I was reading it myself, or Deb was reading it to me, and it would be like to the sea, to the sea, and the littlest turtle's trying to get to the sea because like, uh, his mum and dad are there. We had one called the littlest turtle head. It was a, it wasn't quite as nice as your book. I don't think Is it a children's book. It was, which was an interesting decision. Um, it was just about a myriad of different people in different situations that really needed to go. One bloke was going to work and he's like, fuck, I'm with the littlest turtle head. <laughs> One chick was actually at the beach. She had to aqua that bad boy, aqua turd that bad boy. Do you often turtle head? Very rarely, but do, do you know... Do, <laughs> God, what a lovely, a lovely start to a podcast. Oh, no. But do you know when... Um, do you know what's weird? If I need to like take a piss or fucking drill a number two... And I've, I could have held it for hours. And then as soon as I get within proximity of that bathroom, it just, it's like all hell's breaking loose. Whoa, I've never asked you, how do you, if you need to pee and poo at the same time? You do it every time. What? What do you 
What do you mean? You. That's what we do every time so as a combination. You, do you pop it down? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Because like you you're obviously sitting on the bowl and you're what just you standing th- in a urinal. What do so you think? If what do you think? I'm just walking around fully erect all the time so that it doesn't go in the bowl. It's just always up. Oh, sorry. It'll just sit there flopped. And yeah. Just, yeah. What were you thinking? Don't know, Judge. What? <laughs> what are you thinking? Don't know. We won't. Yeah. Anyway. To go into it. No, I don't know. It's just was being like, fuck. He'd have to. He'd have to go think, and then turn around and. Oh, you think we're shitting in urinals? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, you thought that we'd have to go oh, stand tired. up yeah. and go and then turn around and do the second. No, it's it's a it's all, a, all in it's an all in brawl yeah, in there. Okay. Yeah, I, I should probably know that, but I feel like I've never asked anyone that. Just even now we're close enough. To do yeah, that. correct. Are we clear? I'm clear that you can shit and <laughs> piss at the same time. <laughs> Good. Good. Sorry guys, no more um number two chat. Yeah. Unless we're talking the uh <laughs> The villain out of the Austin Powers theory, uh, series. Number two. Mini me? Number two. Remember the guy with the eye patch? Oh, yeah. yeah God, I, I loved Austin Powers. Where Red light, green Mike, light. Where is Mike Myers now? Austin Powers, because Amber sent that through, actually. Amber, God bless one of the bedwetters, Amber, sent us a red through. No, that wasn't Amber. Liar. She sent a good one. Someone else sent one through about red light, green light, Austin Powers. And I was like, bruh, green. It's green. Right. I remember being five and my whole family was going. And obviously it's like, it's M rated, surely. Mm, yeah. And I said, I was like, please, mum and dad, please, can I come? But I'm five and I can put my head underwater. Is that was, your excuse? <laughs> like, but I'm five and I can put my head underwater. <laughs> it's just, imagine that convinced them. You know what? You know what, Franka? She can put her head underwater. No, it did. I got to go to the movie. Did you? It was more just out of it being pure, like, hysterical to them. 100%. Me being like, but I'm five and I can put my head under water. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And then I got to come. No, I went to the second one, I think, on my 14th birthday. Mm. Maybe my third. We went to the pictures and saw it. A bunch of me and my just mates. The cinema. Like two blokes. All of my friends. Well, there wouldn't have been many, that many to choose from in your school year, would there? But that by that stage, I was going to school in Armidale, so there was more kids. I was Your like four hundred in the whole school. Ten each year. I think, yeah, I think we probably had twenty two. We they combined years five and six, so it was like a class Dude. of maybe twenty eight, twenty five. But that was the whole. That's year. nice though, because then you know, small community. Yeah, it, yeah, but you didn't know that at the time. It was just normal. You know, Do we'd you still see have the schools out at from y- high school. Yeah. That's good. People who don't have old friends, red flag. Big red flag. Huge red flag. Can't they just jump from they same friend? Oh mate. Red flag. Usually the issue. Yeah. One of my mates had this was going out with this bird for ages and she she was literally like fucking <laughs> And um anyway, it got to the point where it was just like I think I had to say to him, like, mate. Because she'd always be like, oh, these people are fucked, these people are fucked, jumping. And she'd just lose friends, jump to friends. And because mm. he was going out with her, um, he always had her back. And I was like, hey, brah, how many friend groups does she need to burn before you realise there's a common denominator here? Yeah. And that it might be, the, the, uh, thing. Might be the old girl to her, buddy. The common denominator. Yeah. It's a, it's a maths term. <sighs> Lulu's had a not a lot of sleep to, last night, guys. <laughs> this Just could be FYI. this could be a rough listen. I know it generally is a rough listen, but it could be even rougher today. I didn't sleep very well, and then I've been up since four thirty. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Last quote: Don't do that because that'll deplete like thirty percent of your energy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let's maintain a level. This honestly feels like my childhood. Me being like oh, running around, dead going. You've got something on tonight. Yeah, come on. Calm down. Let's be serious. Was it you? Could I hear your music behind me when we were 100%. dropping? 100%. Yeah, it was you. It was me. Of was course it was me. Boom, boom. Johnny's got a good bass. He's got a fat ass and a bass. Do you know what else has a good bass? That little song we recorded the other day. What did we do, though? Jachi and I went to a proper music producer's studio. Fuck, it was pisser. And recorded Jarch's rap. And it is, like... Genuinely, it could reach number one on Spotify. <laughs> it's fucking phenomenal. We literally went to a recording studio. It's all recorded. 
We're going to do a music video, make it funny as fuck. This weekend, down at Bondo. Fucking drill this uh, music video, and then we'll um, release it for the bedwetters. You guys are going to lose your shit. I it's, think it'll it's be amazing. I think it'll be funny as There's fuck. There's a couple of little Lulu cameos in there. Yeah, we got Lulu on the in the mm. studio. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doing a bit of Lil John stuff. And then a real... But it came together. He was fucking slick at what he did. So good. It was crazy watching him work and do all this shit, add f- effects and fucking whatever. So fast. Yeah. Techno, man. It was... Techno. Like technology. Oh, okay. Techno is also like a type of music. I know that your rap is not techno. Well, I don't know Fuck, that. I've, I've had enough sleep to know that, mate. Can't you didn't know whether blokes sat down to take a shit? No, I... <laughs> Sit down to take a shit. That's not what I was trying to say. Yeah, okay, buddy. All right. Fuck's sake. Who's a good Lulu? Now, not, should someone go to no. sleep? Should someone go have a little nap? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you want to play some red light, green light so we got something? You know, we got some pep. Mate, I could sit here talking for the whole hour. There's no stopping me. No sleep doesn't mean shit. No sleep, no keep, reap. No creep. Sleep. What's that thing? Sleep. Bus. No sleep. No. Nah. Okay. Nah. Red light, green light? Nah. I'm not sure where you were going with that, bud. You want a red light, green light? Yeah, let's do it. I feel I feel good about it. This one was from Amber. Red light, green light. Cafe is giving butter knives for sourdough bread, a sourdough based meal. This is an orange for me because there's something about cafe toast that is like, it's like cutting through a fucking rock. That's what I mean. It's so thick and strong and hard. Hey, but enough about my cock. We're talking about sourdough toast. But in saying that, I don't think all cafes are going to go out of their way to give big steak knives to red eaters. You know what they shouldn't do? No, 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 you know what they should do? You know those, those knives... They've got like the coloured handles and they're a serrated blade but they're rounded at the end. Yes. So they're like a butter knife. That's what they need to rock with. Not, ca- not all cafes are going with the aesthetic of a coloured knife. Don't, don't, fuck. You can have a black handle. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck the aesthetic. I know the ones you mean. I think they're Maxwell Williams. I would have no idea but they're, they're, they're red hot. Yeah. And they can, they, they can cut through anything. You literally need to bring a chainsaw to the cafe. Like it's fucked. It's like... <laughs> Mate... Some, it, it fucks your meal. I've flicked off eggs and shit. But why? When I cook sourdough at home, it's not the same. Not as much the same. Maybe I'm using a Maxi Will at home. Maybe that's why. A Maybe what? A Maxi Will, Maxi Williams. Maybe I'm drilling the serrated blade at home. That's why I'm not uh, using your traditional butter knife. Or the, um, the toaster's not as good as the industrial cafe toaster. I disagree with that. They would have a big one. They would not have a little two-slicer... Judge. Yeah, but a to- toast. They would have a big mama. But the but toasting is the process. It gets toasted irrespective of. Could be hotter in the industrial. Well, it just means it can cook quicker, right? So it, it just means it's slicker. Harder. That doesn't mean that it's harder sourdough. I think you know you're in a, you're in a, you're a sinking ship here, huh. but it's okay. Each to their own. Cause it cause it cause it. Oh, say lovely. Copy DM. My turn. I'm red. G- g- give me a motherfucker that could cut it. I'm okay, Fuck the aesthetic. I'm, I'm red as yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Fuck the aesthetic. I want to eat. Okay. Red light, green light. Going to the supermarket and thinking you don't need to grab a basket, so walking around with like 90 items in your hand. Oh, it's, it's got a lot of me written on it. That's yeah. a big fat green. <laughs> and then the walk of shame when you're fucking, you've got a whole bunch of shit and you go, this has got to go in a yeah. basket. Because whenever I go to the supermarket, like, yes, I'll know maybe two things I need, but there is not a chance that I will walk out without five extra things. Yeah, same. Like, I will go get some, I don't know, yogurt and wheat bix, which I often enjoy, mm-hmm. and then I'll come out with, like, a chocolate bar, like a little bag of chips, like some crackers, maybe a block of cheese. Some, some Ajax ham. to half. Yeah. Yeah. So we're green on that one? Some deodorant to half. Oh, you said half. Yeah. No. I didn't catch up on that catch up catch on on that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said I, I, when you said Ajax. When you said Ajax, my brain instantly went to Jets. 
Oh. And I just thought you were having jets with the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> One of the greatest cracker out there in the market. So uh, salty and delicious. I'm a green to that. Same, green. But I... But it's annoying. It is. I, I'm like this. When I get to the chair, I'm like... Wah. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm yeah. a fuckwit. I know what I'm doing. Um, red light, green light. Movies with subtitles. Green if you're not hungover, because fuck reading when you're hungover. I'm red. How are you meant to watch any movie with another language in it? I don't. Get cultured. No. I simply won't. If, if the, fuck Have you that. watched the MH37 plane no. documentary? Why don't you reckon I watched Squid Games when that was the hot shit? Subtitles. That's a great series. Not for me. You know the MH36, that plane that went down, 370? 370. That's got subtitles. No, Phenomenal. Not doctor. watching that. Do you want me to come over and I'll read them for you? No, that would be the most annoying fucking oh. experience of all time. I thought that was a kind <laughs> gesture. <laughs> and then the pilot said that um, the pilot said that it, they don't know where it is, but they found some debris near an island off Costa Rica. Judge? Of Costa Rica. Um, and But they only got halfway through their trip. They didn't know whether it was going to be a pilot error or whether... Um, because none of the readings from the black box. The black box? Yeah, the black box. No one could tell. But you could just close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, and fucking kill myself. Josh. <laughs> no, I'm just gamming with you, bro. I'm just having a bit of back and forth. No, enough of the banter. Mm, she didn't bad, back to serious. Mama didn't get much sleep. Um, no, I, I just don't think... I just don't think... If I can watch something where I don't need to read subtitles, I'm going to put that over something. Even but though you're not much of a reader. You probably read Goosebumps, you fucking 12-year-old. I read a bit. Goosebumps. I just bought the whole series of Arthur Conan Doyle, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes. So Holmes. you won't read subtitles, but you read a book. Different. No, it's not. It's like getting a fucking Kindle. Are you fucking it's stupid? It's on a te- technology. You think reading a book is the same as watching a movie with fucking subtitles on it, mate? You can't watch it's the like movie. It's like a live book. That you can't watch because you're reading the whole time. What a dumb fucking thing. Disagree. It, you're a fuckhead. You're a fuckhead. <laughs> now, now I'm tired and pissed off. Next one. Fucking same as reading a book. Grow up. It is. It isn't. It is because you're... You missed the whole movie. You missed the whole movie because you're reading. Just read the book version. Read faster, you fucking idiot. Oh, what? Read fast and look. Read fast and look. What a Mate, fun fucking most experience. Most of the time when the subtitles are there, they're not, it's not a movie where it's like fast paced, like throwing things. It's Perfect. Like, it's boring so then. So it's a boring no, shit movie. Not everything has to be fast paced for it to be fun. <laughs> Your life's boring and you still think it's slow paced and you still think it's fun. <laughs> Mine's slow paced. Get out three walks a day. Fuck me. I'm up at it. I'm at the gym. I'm sauna and I'm ice bath and I go to my I'm work. I'm going for a sauna I go tonight. To my work. Oh, yeah? What, after your walk? I'm going boxing. I think we can end this episode here. <laughs> Shall we just breathe for a moment? Yeah. I don't want to get into the next one for a bit. Will this be another blue, will it? Maybe I'll change. No. Go with it. Go with your heart. Hit it. Hit it. TV shows with subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Kindles. <laughs> Kindles. Um, flicking your bogey after picking your nose. Oh, man, I thought you were going to say something so different just then. <laughs> just, I know. I, what I you just were. went, holy dooly. I know. What Fli- you were oh, pick and flick. Yeah. Oh, baby. I'm a pick and flicker from way back. Just, I feel like put it put it somewhere safe or like put, you know, like, like in your mouth, you foul no. fuck. Because <laughs> you used to eat them, buddy. I'm not. Remember? <laughs> you used to eat them. Even as fat eight-year-old Lou, I did not eat both. Oh, did you not? Oh, probably did, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, nah. Fit flick. Because it makes it fun. I'm trying to think what I'd... Well, maybe I am a flicker. Yeah, dude. No, I feel like... I'm going to look under Johnny's seat and just find a fucking myriad of different snots from label 2004. Oh. Actually, I'm going to go orange on this one. Depends on the circumstance. If you've got a tissue or something there... Just put your bogey in there. Yeah, of course. But, but I mean, where, if you're sitting on a balcony... You, where are you flicking? Let me paint you a picture. I don't really... Let me paint you a picture. It's November 18th. Two days before my birthday, great. It's November 18th. Prime flicking time. It's not? Judge! <laughs> 
Let me paint you a picture. So November 18th, two days before your birthday. Now, the girls have surprised you with a, a holiday to the Gold Coast. All right? You know, for, for your birthday. You're going to have a big birthday bash a few days. You're, in, you're staying in Broad Beach. Okay? You're in a, a high rise. You're on the 32nd floor. You're in the penthouse. Girls have gone all out. You're sitting there on the balcony. You've had a bit of a big night, but not too much of a nudge. But enough that you're a little hung. You're enjoying a coffee. You're reading the paper. You've got a croissant. Okay? Ham and cheese croissant. You go, oh, gosh. There's a little bit up there. You're on, keep in mind you're on the 32nd floor. You go, comes out. It's a hard bugger. All right? You're on that balk. You've got 32 floors before it hits the ground. You're not going like this. See you, buddy. Enjoy the flight. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Tell me you know the uh, whole story and situation. <laughs> not necessary. Has just, no, has just made me go green light because it was so amazing. <laughs> the croissant. <laughs> You're in Broad Beach. The girls have gone all out. <laughs> that was uh, phenomenal. We're green. Yeah, we're going green. We're back. We're going baby. green on the, <laughs> the bogey. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, green light on the big booger flick. Um, red light, green light. Aggressive charity street workers. Red. They fucking shit me to tears. But Josh, you can't say that. They're I do my bit, Lou. I do my bit for charity. Work. Yeah, I do my bit every month. Every month I do my bit with various charities. All you right? Know, so I feel good about myself that I, I, I fucking donate 50 bucks a month or something to the fucking Surf Life Saving Club of Australia. Which well, is that's the, good. Saving all of the people caught in rips. Correct. Yeah. But that's not in my world. I don't like beaches. But I do my bit. Yeah. I think that's good for little kids and shit. I, I, I know what you mean. Sometimes it's like, oh, fuck, you're just trying to get home. And then you, you're intercepted. It's like, oh, Dude, oh, I, oh, I, oh. I only raised this because I was driving the other day. And I saw this. And I would have actually told him to fuck off. I would have been like, bro, you, you can fuck off. I'm very polite usually and very nice. You know what I mean? This guy had his arms out and he was sidling. I, I actually tried to film him as I was driving because I was like, this can't be fucking real. Someone's going to be filming this bloke. He was sidling. He was going, oh, oh, hey, like yelling at them and then like, like, trying like to trapping stop them. them. Trying to stop them with his arms out like this and like jumping from side to side and like stopping people. And I would have been like, oh, you get the fuck out of my face, mate. Well, are they, they're essentially salespeople, aren't they? They get paid, bro. Yeah. They get paid twenty five bucks an hour, or whatever it is, thirty bucks an hour. In commission for signing. Probably, up? yeah. There, no, but see, there are ones where I would, like, I, I have stopped at a couple of those. So have I. But then there are times where I'm like, fuck, I'm just in a rush. Like, I, I and you feel so awkward and mean though, being like, sorry, mate, I'm in a rush. Like, I'll come back or like, I'll go online. This I see. I actually did one the other day where I was like, I'll go online, and I actually went online and did it. Did it, yeah. No, I've been stopped, and I've done it a couple of times on the street. Yeah. For those charities, like the youth charities and shit like that. A bloke on my door the other day, I signed up to the fucking World Wildlife Foundation. Given. Hey, I've got a little pl 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 platter puss in the, in the mail. Can I have it? <laughs> yeah, you can. What, what is it? Like a it's statue. a little stuffed platter puss. But like, you know, I do my bit, so I don't feel that bad anymore. But what's toughened me up is city life. So coming from the bush into the city, you don't really get those fuckers in the country, mm. and there's that inherent... Country politeness that I just get sucked into them all the time, and then I'd see them the, the way my city mates would deal with them, just like, nah, mate, essentially fuck off. And I'm like, oh, you can do that. And then once you're left, it's out of there. They don't care. Yeah. They don't remember you saying no. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I do feel the guilt sometimes, though. So do I. But that fucker, when he was jumping around with his arms out, I was like, you nearly pulled over. Oh, <laughs> I was like, you got to be joking, mate. I'm I'm red. Okay, I'm gonna go green. Okay, I respect that. You're just trying to be diplomatic, but I respect it. Uh, is it my turn? Yes. Uh, jumping on a trampoline over the age of twenty-five, not with children, just for fun. Green, green, absolute green. Huge green. So much fun. Let's play crack the egg. Let's run around the sides. You know the ones with the little cage. You yeah. run around. Yeah. Green. Oh, I was a big trampoline about. You could have a tramp in the back of your Rose Bay house. Could. Should you get one? Good. I'd come over. 
But I want the danger of the trampoline. I don't want these, these new. Uh, you want the old one with like the rip in the middle. You're jumping. I around. just want. I don't want any things on the sides. Oh, I like them on the side. You bounce from side to side. No, nah, I've never had. One. I've never even been in one of those. Oh, you'll like them. Trust me. Game but changer. You no, can bounce from side to side. No, I want the danger. You can run into the wall and then bounce back. Surely it'd tip or break. Only for eight-year-old Lou. Yeah, you would have gone straight through that mesh. <laughs> we used to be good. We used to be good, tra- like, chucking back. He's front flipping off onto the ground. Like, all that fun shit. Mm. You used to get hurt, though. I remember doing my nuts so bad on a trampoline. Like, just coming off and then, boom, straight in between the bar. What does it oh. feel like when you hit your nuts? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. No women will. No woman will ever feel the pain of a nut shot. Are they just so? Not tender? even with birth. Not even with giving birth. It's worse than that. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me explain it to you. So what it is? Fucked. I'm just gammon. Fuck me. Gee whiz. Women are brave and beautiful and tough as fuck. Here we so go. Give me give me a break. Um. The, so it's it can be delayed. So if you if we were walking along and you were going sack whack and you go boom, I'd go like this oh, as a natural reaction, and then I go oh no, oh no, and then it just starts to come on and you're like, oh. it's almost like this pressure in like your lower guts and you're like oh. you're like, oh. <laughs> and you're like I can't breathe, I can't breathe, and you just what need everyone to leave. You, you can die. Like, I was about to say if you're playing cricket and you can then someone, you know, bowls and over. And straight into your nuts. <laughs> well, you were in a box. Yeah, but imagine if it. If just you weren't, dude. If someone, if you were to stand there and someone was to give enough into your nuts, it can kill you. That's good. Yeah. Okay. You know, <laughs> it, it's that's good to know. It's, it's fu- It is the most <laughs> fucked feeling. It reminds me. Well, not reminds me of, but when I used to play hockey, it, and I was the goalie, um, I once went like that and put my leg out to the side, and then the ball went straight into my. Oh. Well, oh. Indian, wasn't I? Yeah. That hurt. That's what we like to call, uh, the. I think the official term for that is a cunt punt. <laughs> I've never heard that. Have you not? I wouldn't refer to it No, that's when you get kicked that. in the... Yeah. Cunt no. punt. Never heard that? Mm-mm. Well, this is Australia. And that's what we call it. I don't like it. Did it really hurt? Yeah. I, yeah, what... What did that feel like? Probably the same as being kicked in the balls. Nah. Wow, a fast hockey ball coming straight for you. Yeah, that that would really bets. hurt. But it was like, like but on you the don't side. have things hanging out. Yeah, it still hurt. Yeah, but it'd be a different pain. It'd be a different pain. You can't die by getting hit in the morning. We can die. You probably could. I don't think so. I just now the thought of that hockey ball coming straight at me. This also begs the question: You ever thought about what sex feels like for the other person? No. You never f- felt like what it would feel like to have a dick and root with it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I can't say I sit there on my own thinking about that. Neither. Do you like this podcast has just perhaps gone down an avenue we shouldn't have? Neither do I. <laughs> what, what do you th- What do you think about fruit? I love grapes. I'm a real plum kind of guy. You know what I do love? A tangerine. And I'll, What's a tangerine again? I'm not sure if it's a colour or if it's a fruit. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bit lost on that. Um, hey, some pretty highbrow stuff, this yeah. podcast. Really enjoying it. Would you like to do some characters? Yes, please. All right, I've, got, I've developed a few characters for you. Now, also, had feedback again from our dear friend Jess McNally. Yeah. And she said that I just need to drag the characters out a little bit more. Yeah, fill them out. The, yeah, fill them out, get into the zone. Okay. Ooh, there's a fly. Okay, just breathe. Okay, you ready? You in the zone? <sighs> yep. Okie doke. You're a Greenpeace activist out at sea trying to convince a Japanese whaling vessel to cease operations. I can see the vessel. Yes, I can see the vessel. (laughs) All right. Let's tie up on ship. (laughs) Climb up the ropes and confront them. (laughs) Excuse me. Excuse me, Captain. Please. Remove your... Nets. No. 
the whales must live. They are beautiful creatures of the sea. And if you don't, I will hurt you. Well. Well. <laughs> all I can say is wow. The next that, Margot Robbie. That, holy doly. Yeah, okay. do you all like that one too? Standing ovation. That was incredible. I was... Did you like the binoculars? Oh, mate, the, the binox. The, the, what did you say? We must tie a rope up. And then the... That was me climbing. That was you climbing. <laughs> really brilliant stuff. Uh, you're a South African accountant telling your best client that he's lost all of his money. <laughs> Belinda, what <laughs> time is my meeting with... The greeners. <laughs> yes, okay, I'll just get the accounts ready. <coughs> Are they here? Okay. B bring bring them in, please. <laughs> I'm I'm so sorry, but you are now what the state of America says is bankrupt. <laughs> wow. Another brilliant It's <laughs> really good stuff. Wow, that was really good. Was it? Oh, you drew me. I was enveloped. <laughs> Oscar winning stuff. Oh, mate. You're an actor. Okay. Mm -hmm. In an audition, giving your best rendition of The Sun Will Come Out in Annie. <clears throat> Hi. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just put my stuff over there. Great. Cool, I'll just warm up. Are oh, they ready for me? Okay. <clears throat> Hi, hi, yeah, Louisa. Um, yes, here's my uh, acting CV portfolio. Uh, <clears throat> just take it away. No, no, no soundtrack. Cool. Okay. The sun will come out. Stop. Next. Oh, sorry. What? No, no. Was that not the right key? No, no. I didn't say sound like a dying cat. I said sing at the sun oh, will come out by sorry. Annie. Sorry, Steven Spielberg. Give me another chance. Okay. Fuck. Fine. Again, from the top. When I'm stuck with a day. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set you up for that one. <laughs> Asshole. You knew you were coming in a stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, just got to All right. adjust myself. This, this one I feel like you'll be good at. You're a child with severe weight issues and your family has told you you can't have your 40th Twinkie. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you, let's see what you bring up here. Oh, <laughs> Mum, but I, I promise I'll eat all my vegetables. I know I didn't eat my broccoli last night. Uh, please, can I just have one more Twinkie? I promise I won't have any more tomorrow. <laughs> it's actually what I do. I knew you'd be good at that one. It's so funny. Night, uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I didn't do it. <laughs> don't, uh, don't, uh, mama. <laughs> oh, that was a perla. All right. You're a Croatian extra on the set of The Princess Diaries, watching Anne Hathaway work her magic. Good God, I feel so special being here. <laughs> she is the best princess we have ever had. <laughs> the best princess we have ever had. I can't wait for Princess Diaries 2. Was there an Elvis too? Oh, Was there yeah. a second one? There's a second one. Is there? I love that you're, when, I love whenever I do anywhere in Europe, it's a healthy mix of French, Cockney English and German. The, oh, where is me? Where is my coffee? The people don't know She's what they the want princess. to do. The best princess in the world. <laughs> I like your characters. You're getting very good at making them up. Thanks. I think I'm getting better at mm. making them a little bit more specific. That, that's all we've got. Thank you. That was really that was good. Fun. Lulu. Thank you. I mean, if she's fucking home and away sees this and doesn't give this bird yeah. a fucking go. I want to be the next. Who Who was Beck Hewitt? Oh, bloody, uh, I don't know. Hayley? That feels right. Meg? She lives next door to you. Yeah. I saw her the other day. Her and Leighton. She wouldn't know who I was, though. Oh, I wanted to say hi, but... 
Delta. It'd be weird. She know the big Delta. Oh, f- bro. Yo, you know me, it's LDD. I live next door to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm next door to you. Or you feel free to come up for a drink or yeah. whatever, anytime. Pop up, man. I got some tequila. You want a beer? Yeah, I got beer. Who's the most famous person you've ever met? Mm, Rita Ora or um, Gabrielle Much, who plays Harvey Specter in Suits. True. How did you? Oh, did you meet them through the radio show? Yep. Mine's that Jared guy from Subway. Have you actually met him? No. Mine's probably Will Ferrell. Well, that's a good one. And he said, G'day, mate. Yeah, you told that story. I've spun it. I love him. And Paul Rudd did the white boy. Yeah. The white boy lips nod. The nod. That was very Paul Rudd. And that's just like, I feel like we've developed a strong bond since then. Oh, yeah, you saw him again? Me and the Rudmeister. I was like, Rudzy. Ruddo. 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 Let me see this. Rudds. Why do you think it is white people do that? The purse lip this thing. You know that smile. It's mostly white blokes. I had a cute man today when you were picking me up. It was like 6.20 or whatever in the morning. Yeah. And he was out running. You were doing like 75 and he was like, good morning. I fucking love that, Lou. Honestly, it warms my heart. (laughs) That shit, that's just, that gets me going. You don't get much of that. I know. When were we driving? We were driving yesterday. Was it you and me? No, it was my mate Diggers. I was with my mate Diggers. And I fully let this guy in, you know, let him in, did the whole fucking shebang. And I was like, I was just expecting this. Just that wave. The wave didn't come and I went, fuck this city. So you just brought back a little bit of light. I know. I get really annoyed when people don't wave. Oh. Just fucking wave. You know, it shits me to tears. That's nice. He's on his run. Jeez, he must be a fit old bugger. There's a guy in my um, boxing class as well who's like, I'm not even exaggerating. I want to say 90. No. Yeah. Really? Yep. I swear I, he would be 85 to 90. Is he put you and Tor to shame? Yep. <laughs> now, Tor's been going a lot lately. Has I she? Haven't. You haven't? You still look great, mate. Thanks so much. You still look great. All right, guys. It's time for Lulu Go Surfing on, on Google, Google Chrome. Chrome. Okay, I've got a couple of articles here for you, Jarchi. Mm-hmm. I think you'll like this one. Mum who named baby after snack says she doesn't care if she's going to get hate for it. Clearly. What's she fucking name it? Kit Kat. So this TikToker has oh, sure decided that she has named her child Pickle because she likes to eat pickles. What a fucking AKA idiot. Gherkins. That you, you love that. No I like wonder. It. Hey, pickle. Fuck. Hey, little gurk. Come here, gurky. You know what? I'd pickle on that kid at school. <laughs> 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 that kid will get pickled on. I know. But we, there's such weird names now. Like, Gwyneth Paltrow's kids are called, like, Apple. Apple. Yeah, I know. It's dumb as fuck. It's because people with no cares of the real world can do whatever they want. That's why celebrities dress like fuckheads, because they got so much money, it doesn't matter how they dress. They, they name their kids fucking Apple or Pickle or fucking another dumb thing. Who cares? They're going to be rich as fuck. You know what I mean? They don't, have the, they don't have to worry. They treat their kids like dogs. They, You're they, being they, very cynical. They today. treat them like animals. and then Okay, you, they don't. Well, no, in terms of naming them. Like here's, here's... I think they're just trying to be like alternative and like against the status quo. It's dumb. Just call your kid John and fucking move on. That's why your name's so basic. Man gets knighted after devouring 37 kgs of hummus. Sorry? <laughs> so what did you just say? Man gets knighted after devouring 37 kgs of hummus. <laughs> He's earned it. A man Fuck in it. Australia has been bestowed one of the foods, food industry's highest honours, known as the hummus knight. Devoured his weight <laughs> in the delicious dip. <laughs> His weight... He was able to knock back 37 one kg tubs of Yumi's hummus. What the fuck, bro? Why? Can I tell you that this is semi clickbait, though? I kind of just wanted to leave it there. Leave it there, yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, I want to know. In a year. I could do that. I, could, I reckon I could honestly do it in six months. Easy. 500, 500 
like grams a day. You could do like 250 grams a day. Yeah, I could easily do that. Eh. Eh. Shouldn't be nice. Whatever, that. hummus night. Oh, hummus side of the hummus. I beg your pardon? Ha- he, he had a hummus side of his ego after we just destroyed him. <laughs> <laughs> now this one. I'm happy with that. It's very funny. Lulu likes this. Okay. Scotland is using ponies and cardigan sweaters to convince people to visit. And it's just all these ponies and little sweaters. Hey, look, look. It's working. I'm going. It's working. I'm going. That is pisser. Little Shetland ponies and colourful cardigans. That is cool. Oh, I want one. Show me a look. Scotland, Scotland tourism not going well, is it? Maybe not. <laughs> they are cool. Yeah, that's a lot. Green to that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. They, they be Scotsmen. They do Scot- Scottish yeah, They do Scottishmen. So what do you mean? Are you the Scottishman? No, I'm a wee Scotsman. I'm a wee Scottishman. No, Scotsman. 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 Yeah. They, they look like Scotsy Glasgow. Glasgow. Like I'm a Glaswegian. A Glaswegian. Right, I've been to Scotland a few times. Like I've been to Scotland a few times. Like. It's not It's getting there. I think I'm really good at being a parrot. You're mediocre at being a parrot. Whoa. I think with practice makes you parrot I think perfect. I'm really good at being a parrot. Right, see, I'm a wee Scotsman. See, right, I'm a wee Scottishman. I'm not saying Scottishman, I'm saying Scotsman. But oh. in the accent. I'm a wee Scotsman. All right, I'm a wee Scotsman. <laughs> I love the hands. <laughs> the hands coming out. Like, you see, I, I love Glasgow. See, all right, I love Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Um, uh. Say Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Castle. Castle. Like, that's a lovely kilt you got on. I like that a lovely kilt you got on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love <laughs> it. Mimic everything uh, you mate, do. I, okay. Um, ah, Roy, good to see ya. All right, Roy, good to see ya. Hey, man, I've never seen that so so big in my life. Hey, man, I've never seen that so, so big in my life. I've never seen nothing like that in my goddamn life. i never seen nothing like that in my goddamn life. <laughs> The only way is that Jamaica can weigh. The only way is that Jamaica can weigh. All right, bugger. I've seen you before. I don't know where. All right, bugger. I've seen you before. I don't know where. Cook handed. Cook handed. The people of Germany will be vindicated. So. Might not do that one. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Hotline. Yes, please. Let's do the hotline. Bad Winners Hotline. <clears throat> Excuse me, why? Favorite part of the show. Let's get it. G'day, big dick. How are we? <laughs> yeah, good, thanks. Now, Luke, <laughs> you've got rocks in your head if you think Pitbull is a lyrical genius. Get out of here. If you're after a lyrical genius, you're looking at one. Mate, Judge, that rap. Mate, was off its head. When's the new album coming? Because, <laughs> mate, I thought I was listening to the cursor. <laughs> anyway, Lou, if you think Pitbull is on the come up, mate, my sausage dog, dog Frank, mate, he must be number one because, fuck, Pitbull is trash. <laughs> anyway, stay out of yourself. Love it. You listened to that because you knew he was going to up you. No, no way. Oh, no, not would, me. I would never do such a thing. I don't do that. I would never. Not a chance. No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, worth it. You deserve all the kudos you can get for that rap, my friend. Thanks, mate. I also love that he was like, if you think Pitbull's good, my sausage dog, Frank. Pitbull, sausage dog. Yeah. That's hilarious. I love these names, Frank. Yeah. He's that sausage dog's named more normal shit than fucking half their celebrities. Yeah, get out of your fucking maggots. Um, just listening to this week's potty, uh, fucking, you guys are on the uh, celibacy train. Mate, one day in, I'm going to join you. All right, I'm, I'm there. I'm there yes. for the ride. Proud of you, brass. Anyway, just jumping out the pub for a schooner. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, That was good. Amazing. Fuck, I thought we'd had one. I thought we had one. Uh. Hey, good stuff. Jealous. Got us a bloody beauty. Got us a beauty. 
Oi, oi. It's um, the Perth piss here, lads. <laughs> it's uh, fucking 1am. I've just woken up. I'm feeling uh, a little bit wet below the belt. <laughs> I think I'm just going to fucking stay in it. Wake up in the morning. It's going to be the best fucking wake up I've ever had. <laughs> All right, bedwetters for life. Keep pissing, you fuckheads. <laughs> I love how he's gone out of his way to call <laughs> us. And he's like, I'm just going to stay in it. It's just, he's lying in a pool of his own just piss. Keep pissing, mate. Bedwetters for fucking life. Okay, one more. Hey, bitches. Um, just been watching your little reels on Instagram and... I just wanted to say, Judge, your new haircut looks good, but fuck me. I can really, I see I see the chin thing now. You see what I mean? Like, genuine question, how the fuck do you fold towels? <laughs> With my hands. Like, if you were like a prostitute, would the head be half price because you've only got fucking half a chin? Real <laughs> question, seriously. <laughs> uh, I would love to see the chin. Without the beard. If you want to see it without the beard, go and watch Streets of Sydney Season 2. Okay. Go and watch. If everyone wants to see the chin without the beard, go on to YouTube, try, type, type in Streets of Sydney Season 2. That's me full beardless. Perfect. That's what I'll be doing after this. Just leave that vibrator in the drawer. Straight to the wank bank. Yeah, great. <laughs> hey, keep pissing you, mob. Keep pissing. And love you. Guys, we love you. Bad for life. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Hooroo. Kisses.